like me better when I was yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title today, I am testing out new drugstore products. I am finally picking up the stuff that I showed you guys in that Ulta haul that I think I posted last month in February. It's been a minute. There were just other things I had to get up before that one. But see, look, I'm already starting the video out, jumping into it because I already have one of them on my face. Y'all know I don't do my brows on camera. It's just, just easier that way. But I don't know if you guys have heard that these two new products I want to compare, even though like only one is considered drugstore. Um, brow products have been coming back into the conversation. They kind of died off a little bit. I, I think everyone like found their go-to brow products now. I don't know, maybe it's because it's the only thing you can see with the mask. You know, people are getting more into it and brands are putting out more brow products but I've heard a lot of talk about this Anastasia brow freeze styling brow wax it's sold out on Sephora stuff like that they sent me this because y'all if y'all saw that um let's talk new makeup releases I was like I, I wouldn't buy <laughs> this collection but they sent it so I was like eh, why not check it out see what the hype is that everyone's talking about right um and I tried this in a trying new makeup video and I've been using it on my brows ever since before today, I would say, if I was, okay, it's a cute little uh, brow setter, brow gel, well not gel, but it's brow setter on the face, right? And then at the same time, uh, NYX came out with this, uh, the brow glue. I don't know if you guys have seen this being talked about. Um, I, I picked this up, I showed it in that haul video, and then I saw Tasha like raving about this ever since I bought it and I've wanted to try it but I stopped myself because I wanted to film this video um but this brow glue which is supposed to like do the same thing and people were like but which one should I get they came out at the same time this one's drugstore more affordable this one is Anastasia Beverly Hills I gotta pick it up right so I actually used the brow glue in on my brows today so I have this on this brow and this on this brow now y'all very rarely, especially in like recent years with makeup launches or just trying new makeup in general, have I tried something and like right off trying it, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think you done did something, but that was my reaction when I tried this uh, brow glue. I'm gonna keep getting these mixed up between brow wax and brow glue. When I tried this brow glue from NYX, I put this on, I said, Okay, Nick, this is why you're one of my favorite drugstore brands, right? Um, now, brow glue, it's living up to its name, but it's not living up to its name, like literally, right? Cause you know, glue, like it's sticky, it's tacky. I think this even says like, it's not sticky. Uh, style brow hairs and set into place, non-sticky transparent formula. Um, yeah, non-sticky. So like when you put it on, you feel like your brow hairs are being glued wherever you're putting this, but you know, like I can touch my brows and it's not like a sticky feel, right? Cause like no one wants to feel like that on their face. So I feel like my brow hairs are set where I wanted them to be. Like it says, it's transparent, like you're not gonna see it. I know a complaint I saw with the Anastasia one is that um, some people felt it left their brow hairs grayish. I don't, I don't know if I see that, um, but I, I mean, I've seen that. I don't see like that type of tint either with the NYX brow glue. Um, and I just, I don't know, I just like, cause it's the same product. I use the same Rare Beauty brow pencil on both sides of my face. Um, and I just like, I just like this one better. I think because like my brow hairs are standing at attention on this side, right? Like if it's up, it's, it's stuck once you put this brow glue on. Um, the brow wax, she's cute. So that's what I was getting into before. Before I tried this brow glue and I tried this, I was like, okay, I can kind of see what the hype was. But if these two products are both being hyped at the same time, which they are right now, right? Um, and after trying this one out, now I'm just kind of like, okay, well you, you like, you, you was hype but she was I right? right? Now I'm trying this one and I'm like, points were made, it's NYX, so it's gonna, well, it's gonna be more affordable than Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't remember how much this costs. I think it's like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna throw a price out there. Again, cause like I didn't actually purchase it. 20? I'll have it pop up on the screen or something. Um, So it's gonna be a more affordable. And it's like, NYX, NYX just stays doing what it has to do. So if you're looking for a recommendation from me, I'd say get the NYX, but you'll be happy with either one that you get. I think you'd just be happier, in my opinion, with the NYX one. So I'm gonna move on to a primer because I already did my eyeshadow. I used the uh, e.l.f. Chipotle collab, which I already did a, vi a video on, and then I just threw on the uh, 
a color from the Jackie palette as my lid shade. So I have two primers and I think I might use both because like I want to I want to check both out. But this first set is from Black Radiance. It's their well new primer line. And there's a dewy luminous, a hydrating and blur, a matte and poreless, and then a long lasting and toning face primer is this last one. I think I want to use this matte and poreless one and then the other primer i have to check out is from nyx it is the marshmallow primer this thing like stayed out for a good minute before i could even add this into my cart um this doesn't say anything like, you know, like hydrating mattifying i'd have to read the description but i have it so i'm gonna check it out which one should i put on first i'm gonna put on this one first just like it i know it says you know, like matte and poreless and this one i don't know if it's like a primer that actually like does something or just you know like a primer it just like helps your makeup blend in and stuff like that right so i'm gonna start with this one huh. i'm not really sure what consistency I was expecting. This is giving kind of like a gel. But I'm gonna put this in my T-zone because I have combo oily skin. And can I just pop this off? Yes, I can, great. Oh, and um, something else about the nyx brow glue if you're wondering like just how tacky it is since it's not full on like sticky like glue think the milk hydro grip that's what it kind of reminds me of but for your brows okay and this came out a little bit more creamish i'm gonna put that basically everywhere else does it smell like marshmallow Ooh, does it actually smell like marshmallow it's got a sweet little tint to it Smells like those lipsticks that have that kind of uh, candy scent to them. So I don't have a, a new drugstore foundation to show you and that's okay because I want to do a little bit more of a full face anyway. So I'm gonna show you a tip that I've been doing and I haven't worn makeup in like a week. <laughs> this, is my, this is actually the first time I'm filming this week. So I don't know, I just want to do a little bit more, show you guys this little technique thingy that I've been doing. So I'm first take this Fenty powder foundation and you know kind of how like Jackie puts on powder before foundation. I'm gonna do that and just start applying it to my face but she uses like a setting powder. You know this this Fenty powder is an actual you know powder foundation. So I'm just gonna kind of you know like set my face how you would if you do uh, powder before foundation. And then I'm gonna take something that actually is new. This is from CoverGirl. It's their new clean fresh hydrating concealer in the shade 410 Rich Deep, and yes, I'm gonna put that on top of the uh, powder, ooh. On top of the powder, mm -hmm. on top of the powder foundation. She's a little runny. I mean, I haven't blended it out yet, but just feeling it on my face, she feels a little runny, a little thin. You can probably see how thin it is. You guys know serum foundations it's giving me that type of formula but just like a concealer version of it and I don't I don't think I like that yeah I put uh, two shades of the Giorgio Armani concealer on top because I do not like that covergirl concealer at all now I don't have to start my face all over again So before we were so rudely interrupted with the Cover FX concealer, I was saying, so I would put the powder, the Fenty powder on, um, I would put a concealer on, and then I take the Huda foundation stick and I uh, put that on as well. So I'm technically wearing like two foundations and I put it like where your concealer meets your foundation, well, the first foundation I put on, and then I would blend it out.
So I got these blushes in the mail from ColourPop. They're their new Cheek Dew Serum blushes. So I have this color and then I've got this one. I think, yeah, I'm gonna use this one for today's video. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just dot it in with my finger. That's the only type of serum uh, makeup product I can deal with, okay? Other than that, leave it to skincare, okay? Keep it out of your foundations, keep it out of your concealers. Serum blushes, I'm here for. They just kind of blend into your skin. Uh, everything else, okay, I'll, I'll save it uh, before I go to bed. Okay, so I do have a new powder from Black Opal. This is their Oil Absorbing Pressed Powder in Caramel Crush. It's a little bit more like skin tone shade, not you know, obviously the same, but uh, a little bit darker than what I would use for my under eye, just because like I use that as a brightening area. Uh, so I'm just gonna give my like whole face a once over with this. Actually, I probably could have used this as a brightening powder, but yeah, we're already here, so. Okay, Uma Beauty is really considered like drugstore, but I got it from Ulta, which is a more affordable store. I have their Badass MF Mattes Filler Lip Liner in the shade Simone, which I believe is a brown lip, uh, lip liner. Yes, it is. I just don't know if it's like brown enough uh, to where I can line my lips, but I, I guess we're about to find out. Oh. Mm. that wasn't gonna line my lips. So I lined my lips with what I know is going to work for me and I'm gonna take the Uma pencil and just fill in a little more. And that is it for my face today. I'm not gonna lie, this CoverGirl concealer was a little bit of a buzzkill. I was just saying with the NYX Brow Glue, that's been a minute since I come across a product where right out of the box, I'm just like, yes, I'm ding it. That's going to be the one. Well, it's also very rare that I try something out of the box where I'm just like, I do not like it, but I, I don't like this. It's very rare for me to say, but I do not like this concealer. Um, I don't like the consistency of it. I don't like the, I can already, I don't like the formula of this. It didn't really want, it didn't want to blend out on my face. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera right now but in, in real life you can legit still see exactly where it was placed on my face because it didn't want to blend out it's just like the brow glue is kind of stuck wherever it was applied I don't it's patchy I don't like this concealer but I'm pretty sure everything else I tried on my face today I like the brow glue yes probably the number one thing I'd recommend out of this uh, video the two primers I actually like them together but I think I would reverse the way that I put them on put the NYX on first uh, because the NYX one kind of reminds me of a moisturizer I don't know like remember how I said like it doesn't have any claims like hydrating it's gonna blur poreless matte it didn't have any of that at least on the bottle probably in the description but it, it gave me very uh like night cream especially uh, the consistency of it, but I already had a moisturizer on. This is from e.l.f. as well as their Holy Hydration Face Cream. Um, it reminded me of like, like a product like this, so I'd probably put that on first because I already had this on, so I was like, you don't wanna do too much on the face, right? And I had uh, the Tula SPF on as well, so the NYX Marshmallow Primer first and then the black radiance mattes and poreless because i like how the foundation applied on my face the concealer i just mm. but uh the foundations i like how they applied on top of the primers i'll have to see like how actual wear is but honestly um the uh huda foundation stick and the fenty powder foundation i don't, I don't have much problem when it comes to controlling my oils so i'm not that worried about it and i have this black opal oil absorbing powder on so i'm really not that worried about wear on my face throughout the day but i will of course keep you guys updated on if they don't live up to my expectations um so i liked the powder as well like i said i could probably get away with using this as a brightening powder um so i'll try it a different time using it that way but as an all over face thing it's still it's not like it was too light to use as an all over face thing right um the serum blushes from ColourPop, I liked, like I said, like serum products like that, like that's the only way I wanna use them. Cause you know, it just kind of blends into your skin, you know, like a natural blush from within going on on your face, right? So I liked that. The Uma pencil, like I said, it wasn't uh, dark enough to line my lips, but my lips are just naturally darker. Um, so if your lips aren't, or you know, a lighter skin tone, stuff like that, then go ahead, pick it up. I just used it to uh, fill in the rest of my lips. 
and I think that those are the only things I tried on my face today that were new, right? Nope, that was everything I put on my face. So there was only one thing I wasn't feeling. Other than that, do not sleep on the drugstore, okay? Definitely don't sleep on NYX. Like I said, probably my favorite drugstore brand. And nowadays, don't sleep on e.l.f. I know I don't really like have new e.l.f. things to show in this video, but like I said, I'm using the e.l.f. moisturizer. I've got the e.l.f. Chipotle uh, palette. If you guys didn't see the video, it looks like this on the inside. I think it sold out uh, after it launched. Um, don't sleep on those two brands especially, okay? Because they, they got the girls that cost a little bit more, those brands, they got them shaking a little bit with the products that they've been putting out lately. And yeah, that is it. Everything I use will be linked in the description down below. Let me know if there's any product you guys want me to check out, do a video on. All of that down below. Make sure two thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn notification bells, all of that. Guess where? Down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.